Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hardcore Group Iron Man Progress video. And today we're going to be getting ourselves a fire cape. It is time. We got the Chaos Crossbow last video, so I thought it was perfect time to actually go and get it. It'll be perfect for some Slayer training. Now, this is no normal fight caves because there's actually a lot of danger in a Hardcore Group Iron Man. You can actually lose your status in the fight caves. Normally, on a regular hardcore, if you die in the fight caves, it's not a big deal. You keep your life. But in a hardcore group environment, any PVM related activity, even in mini games, so like fight caves, Inferno, are all dangerous. If you die there, that is one life gone. Knowing that you could potentially lose your life at the fight caves changes the whole landscape of how dangerous that content is. Normally, if you're experienced at the fight cage, you can do it at super low level and it's not a big deal if you fail because nothing happens. But this time, there is a lot at risk and rushing it at this level of 70 range is going to be quite challenging because it's going to be a long jab fight and one miss per flick could end one of our group lives. So this is not something that I can take very lightly because it's worth it. Free agility levels, man. God, anything for that. Alright, back to some Slayer training. Slash range. Ooh, yo, best in slot mage boots. Let's go, let's go. I've been trying to play this account with a different vibe in terms of how I want the game to feel. And I've had roofs on for a bit since I'm doing casual stuff right now. And some of the places look so cool with rooftops on. Like, look at this place, man. Slayer Tower looks so menacing with roofs. Ooh, Mystic Hat as well. Oh, there we go. Another best in slot. It is really... No way! I actually got another Dragon Plate Licks. Dude, this is not possible. I guess I'm gonna give one to the, to the homies. Wow, dude. A combined kill of like maybe 20... All right, we got an extra dragon leg, so we can... Ooh. That's right, Mutt's got a god dehyde boots. I'm going to take that, because I'm going to do fight case with this. Yes, sir. Holy shit, is that a superior pirate lord? What? Holy crap, that looks... Wild. Oh my god. That thing looks absolutely wild. Yeah, Alright. I have so much money now thanks to all the Slayer. So I am gonna go ahead and buy this Fairy Ring now. Because it is such a good Fairy Ring. I have to unlock it. Yes. There we go. Now that's another unlock. I'm also gonna finish another quest real quick for some more Cardis Memoir Tellies. Yikes, bro. Dude, he better not die. Oh, no. I just got word, word that Fuse DC on Winter Todd. Rank 2 went specifically for total level. That's why they have 18 mil XP only. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 52 mil XP. Yeah, they, they have 20. Come on. He better have that, like, phone shit going on. That backup internet. Come on, baby. So Fuse managed to log out his character without dying because we didn't get any notification about losing lives, so we escaped a near death. This scale fight task just feels like such a scam because you get like literally nothing. This whole task, I didn't get a single insult scale fight head for prayer. Oh yes, I got trolls. Let's go. So much money, dude. Ice trolls. Oh, 55 slip. Oh god, Toras. Nice, I got the crest. Sweet. Okay. Oh, God, I hate doing the wilderness, man. All right. We escaped the wildy once again. There we go. Family crest done. Going to be getting the fire cape today, finally. A lot of build up. Leading up to this. Oh, I'm about to hit sunny range, though. Oh, actually, there it is. Sunny range. Sweet. This task is perfect. With exactly one left on task 2. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're not quite ready for fight caves yet. I want to uh, boost up my prayer a bit. I got some um, insult heads to use. 
And I also got to do some LMS. Uh, the plan is to get a thousand rune arrows for the MSB and a thousand bolt racks for the the Karo's crossbow. So we got a lot of a lot of prep to do, but very soon. I don't have to do too much. He's just like learning, you know? Okay. Got him, bro! Nice. <laughs> that was worth it. That clause was worth it. Oh! <laughs> what is that DDS, bro? No, I was not Edge Kane, sir. Uh, I just had you with the nastiest claw DDS I've ever seen in a hot minute. <laughs> I honestly do not know what he's what he's doing right now. Okay, all right, whatever, dude. Good fight, good fight. Yeah, good fight, good fight, bro. Good fight, dude. That ballista is so OP, bro. Seriously. Ah, oh, damn, bro. Okay, yeah, that guy was definitely better than me, so there's really not a whole lot I could do. Uh, I think we have all we need, though, so. That's a thousand bolt racks, and uh, we have a thousand rune arrows. Yeah, that should be enough to do the fight caves, probably. So, I am going to do rotation two. And this is my setup. Some Dram Platelets for some uh, tanking on some waves. MSB for everything but the Majors and Jad and Carols for Majors and Jad. A uh, decent amount of Prayer Pots. I'm going to be flicking a lot, so I think 10 is good. And some Karen Blondes in the uh, basket of Strawberries because they have a lot more healing potential for the downtime, I guess. And uh, Ectofield, apparently you can teleport out fight caves. I've never brought a teleport out, so I've never tested, but apparently you can teleport out, so So yeah, this is uh this is definitely really good to know. So I'm gonna be ready to teleport out if anything bad happens. Any lag or whatever. Yeah, I gotta be really careful on the majors. Alright, it's uh 17. Let's go in. Yes, yes, don't ask again. Good luck, me. Alright, this is when things get scary because the Major is going to show up after this. So that means I'm going to have to start using my Dram Playlix a lot when the Majors and the Rangers show up. Because I'm going to have to tank some hits. Can't do anything too fancy with Pro Flicking. Because I don't want to risk tanking like a fat 50 or something. So I'm going to rely on the tanking to help with the Rangers. Oh, it is 3 takes. What the hell? I didn't know K-Bow was 3 takes. I thought it was 4. Oops. So that means I have to do some weird type of flicking then. I can't 1-1 one -one this and be lazy. That means I gotta focus a bit more then. Ooh, damn. I can hit a 16 with the K-Bow. Alright, after this wave, the Ranger is gonna spawn with the Major. So my goal is to position myself where the ranger spawns so I can kill it immediately. Because I'm going to have to be tanking. So I need to kill the ranger to minimize damage ASAP. Alright, after this, the melees are going to show up. They're not too bad, but... But when the melees and the ranger stack with the major still... That's when things are going to be at its hardest. MSP spec the bats, worth it. In all honesty, MSP is probably only slightly worse than Cabo, seeing as how the accuracy and the max hit is almost the same. Alright, I'm gonna save these 210 for like the last the last few waves with the Rangers. Oh. Alright, this is when it starts getting a bit harder. But luckily I've saved so much prayer that um Yeah, we can play it more safe, less flicking, and just focus more on you know, not taking damage from the rangers and stuff. Okay, I am gonna focus now real quick. I need to be quick about this. 
Oh, that sucks, man. Ow! Bro, chill. Are you serious? Jesus Christ, man. Alright, we have made it after an hour and 40 minutes. We have finally reached the Jad. Alright, here we go. Use the cable. As we progress further into our hardcore Iron Man group, things are going to get even more dangerous as we take on even harder bosses for their drops. And you're really not going to find this type of series anywhere on YouTube at the moment. Lots of normal group Iron Mans or lots of hardcore Iron Mans that skill, but not many is willing to try to do the dangerous things that this game is about. So consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Really? I was trying to get all the healers stuck on the corner so I could diagonal trap it, but I didn't have enough time to make it, and I forgot that if the healers get too close to the boss, even if they were aggro to you, they would actually switch to healing the boss. So yeah, I have to make sure I keep the healers far enough away from the boss so that they don't heal. So what I ended up doing was I just ended up letting them hit me with just one of them but i'll switch between prey melee in between jad hits so i can take a lot less damage from the melees <sighs> die please please dead Woo! Let's go. That took so long. Yes. Dangerous. Very dangerous. We're not going back to, to this place ever again. At least I gotta wait until I get way better gear. Uh, we're out. We're out, boys. Now I can train my Slayer stats in, uh, in style. Let's go. Oh, uh, let's go, boys. We are done. We are done. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Okay, well, that was definitely stressful as fuck, dude. I almost messed up. I ain't gonna lie. My hands got a little, a little, a little stunned, honestly. But we got it done. Uh, all right, that's uh, one stress out of the way. Now I'm gonna go and chill. We're gonna chill. Wow. Damn, dude. It took like over uh, close to 200 bolts to, to kill Jad. My god. That is very slow. Oof. So I have a hard clue here whose step is to go to Gazari Jungle, but that requires the start of Legends Quest. So I had to do Shao Village Quest to start that quest. I can't recall this quest being that fast. Wow, it's actually that fast. Okay, come on, Casket. Yes, let's go. Casket. Wonder what we're going to get, guys. What are we going to get? Oh, yes, Black D High Body. Hell yeah, and another MSB for the boys. Let's go. That is so good. Let's go, man. No more green dehyde body. I would have loved to have that for 5Ks, I'll tell you that. But, um, woohoo, yes, 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 yes. That's really good. Two MSBs and one cable. Oh, these guys are going to love it, man. They're going to go into the bank and they're like, what is this? You know, what is this bad boy here? That's a pretty snazzy looking range setup we got over here. Yo, those cactus contracts are so nice. The longer time contracts definitely give a lot more stuff. I managed to get eight errors from that freaking cactus contract. So nice. All right, so how I usually do my tree runs are I finish up all my fruit trees and trees at Catherby because what happens is that I can then start my herb run at the patch and then go to Artie and so on. How do I fund my super compost? Right now, I'm farming them through watermelons I get from contracts. I try to do my contracts as soon as they're available to be completed. But yes, I go to the Hosidious patch because this patch is amazing. Nothing here will ever die. So this is like, if you're limited on seeds, this is the place to plant it. Like your herbs, your watermelons, stuff like that. I plant it all here. And yeah, it's very self-sustainable. Another big move for my farming slash herbal related activities is the whiteberry bush. 59 farming is whiteberries, so I planted that as soon as I got that. 
So it's gonna help a lot for future uh, herb related stuff. Super defense mainly. Yay! Sweet. That's gonna be a free XP lamp right there. I'm gonna put this on herbs. I can do Agar's Roots for the uh, Troll Mine Teleport. Oh, 60 farming. The gains are real right now. Here we go. Here we go. That's another lamp. All right, put this on Herbler. Holy crap. What is that going to give me? 29. Sweet, sweet. And then 30. Oh, yes. 35 XP to 31. Sweet. Okay, that's Edgar's Roost done pretty much for the requirements. Uh, another teleport unlock soon. Uh, I decided to just go ahead and train my fletching up a bit higher just so when Tears of Guthix hits up, I won't have to ever worry about it going to fletching because that's such an easy skill to train up. So I bought a bunch of arrowheads from the shop here. Very cheap. I think 5,500 cost me like 50, 60k of steel and iron. Iron's very, very cheap, but I'm feeling a little ballsy. So I went with the steel arrows, but yeah, the XP is insane. So this is me from the future. I ended up getting all the way to 41 fletching, which is seven levels, man. Worth it. Yay. There you go. 31 herb. Agar's Rouge done. And we're going to use these Karamja gloves to uh, do something cool. All right. So we have access to the Tazar place after getting the fire cape. This, you know, inferno area. And I got my uh, Karamja gloves one. And I got some talk cool. So I'm going to go ahead and buy... Buy some rubies. Ooh, damn. I'm going to buy emeralds too. Uh, just really good for teleporting around. For the dick site pendant and also the ring of dueling. So. so, yeah, this is nice. There is, like, no competition whatsoever. Okay, so I bought a bunch of rubies and emeralds. I'm going to put this in the shared so Mutz can... Turn them into some jewelry, and he can train some ca crafting with this. So this is going to help a lot for us in general. Alright, so apparently you can go into this room, which is 65 farming, by boosting. So... Haha. <laughs> because now I can plant a Hispori, and an herb patch, and a tree patch, a bit earlier. Oh, I got it! A rune scimitar into a dark totem. Alright, I'm gonna save this one for Mutz, because he actually still doesn't have 60 attack yet, so... So this is, uh, really good for you. Oh, and we made our first totem, too. Yeah, nice. I have the other two in the bank, of course. Ooh... I'm not gonna mess around with Skotizo yet, though. We're technically rushing bossing, but we're we're still somehow uh, rank five in skilling. So hell yeah, let's go! Oh yeah, let's buy this dragon battle axe. This is gonna be really good for Slayer training, of course. All right, I totally forgot they added a new giant spot in the Zaya region. And if you go up this find here, you can actually access fire giants and all the giants. And they also count as catacombs, so you can still get the catacomb uniques. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely chill here, because change of scenery, and it's actually more convenient. I don't have to bring a rune pickaxe for this. Yo, 57 Slayer. Hell yeah, man. Yo, this account is starting to look like a machine now, though. Look at that setup, looking cool, looking good. One more level, and then the boys are gonna get some black mask. Easy peasy. But we're going to take a little break from Slayer because I am going to try to do Haunted Mine for the South and kill some Barbarian Spirits. Kill some Barbarian Spirits so that I can get this grapple to get the Lumberge Dire redone. For the mediums, because that ring is so nice for farming. I hate running from Fildor to the patch. It's so slow. Alright, so apparently you can also boost for contracts, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Yes, there we go, it works. White lilies! Oh, I can't even do it, man. GG, but hey, it does work. 
Ooh, 168 Banshees. Very interesting. Oh, that's perfect. Because these are ghosts, and I don't have a Slur Helm, but a Salve Amulet will work. And I planned on literally, right after getting this assignment, getting myself a Salve Amulet and also the uh, Imbued version for that 20% attack and strength. Because I was going to work on the Lumberge Medium Diaries, like I said. So, that it's actually destiny. We can kill some some Banshees as if I was uh, Slayer Helmed up. Just going to keep my HP up really high. Damn, Quest Hopper is so OP, dude. They even have Tarn's Razor minigame. Also figured out. So that's crazy. It avoids like all the traps and all that. Wow. Yay, 5,000 Star XP worth. One step closer, 58. Alright, I'm here. Now with the Salve Amulet, I should be able to... Uh, yeah, hit them really, really well. Because I'm basically going to Slayer Tats for these guys. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Ow. How is that dragon still aggressive, dude? Shit. God damn, dude. Alright, we'll just keep our anti-fire shield on. At least until the aggro wears off. But yeah, that was scary, though. If you are going to kill these mobs under Ancient Cavern for the grapple, definitely get yourself the Salve Amulet enhance because it helps so much i was able to hit them so consistently it was like actually good xp to be training here so at least even if you go dry you get good xp with south oh i got it oh yes and you get two of them too hell yeah let's go yes yes okay cool all three done that's for a few quests i think translator 2 and uh dream luna diplomacy or something Ah, uh, finally, dude. Jeez, this quest was actually incredibly slow. I decided to finally finish Edgar's Ruse now that I have the requirement, so I can use Trollheim Teleport for clues, and I just need to get to God Wars quickly, so I can do something cool for the boys. I'll show you. Alright, so there's a reason why I'm here rather early. And it's so I can get some extra grapples for the boys, because the thing with grapples are when you use it, there's a chance that it will get destroyed. So I'm just going to grab as much as I can. All right, the most difficult part of this diary is done. Medium ring, dude. Oh, I've been wanting it so bad. I need 40. Okay, I'll just put it on here. Dude, this is so good. Now I can teleport to the farm patch. It's that time of the day again to go look at the high scores. Just for a quick summary of what's going on. We are ranked 6 in terms of skilling. So let's look at the overall um, XP. As you can see, I am now starting to uh, not have that much high XP. I'm quite lower than these other guys because I've been doing so much PVM related stuff. And not going for skills. So yes, my skill level is starting to drop a bit. And Mutz is really pushing the Song of the Elves. He's gone pretty much every requirement for Song of the Elves. Minus Herblore. And Mr. Fuse is going for Barrels, Gloves still. And yeah, he's pretty much almost there. And then he's going to be doing some Slayer, I believe. But yeah, his Slayers obviously hasn't started yet. And here's me focusing a lot more on combat stats. As you can see, my combat stats are a lot higher than everybody else's. <laughs> yeah, base 60s pretty much and 70s. And my Slayer level has yeah gone all the way up to 58. And I haven't really been skilling too much other than farming, really. Just lots and lots of farming. 60 plus farming right now.